Hello, everybody. Having a strong chin is considered attractive for both men and women. And although there is no hard rule on what defines a good jawline, as a general rule, uh, we want our chin projection uh, to be close to this uh, imaginary vertical line that goes from your lip down. So for women, your chin projection should be right at that imaginary line or maybe a few millimeters behind it. And for men, we like that chin projection to be right at the line, right, ideally even a little bit in front of it, a few millimeters in front. But with everything in aesthetics, there's no hard uh, rule. I mean, you will see beautiful women with uh, chin projections more anterior than our uh, guidelines, uh, as well as men with maybe a slightly weaker jaw. But if you have a weak jaw and you want to know what you can do to enhance it, there's really two main options. One is to fill the chin and try to push it forward with a filler. Um, and the second option is with a physical object like an implant. So the filler, the advantage of a filler is that it's a quick procedure, it's in office, uh, there's no downtime other than the usual risks and complications from injecting fillers. And um, it can last a year, sometimes more, sometimes less. Um, but another disadvantage is that filler is a gel, so there's probably only so much it can do to give you that projection that you may be searching for. But for someone with some mild chin weakness or who doesn't want surgery, I think filler is an excellent choice to do. Uh, obviously, there are complications from fillers. It's not a benign, uh, riskless procedure, but uh, risk of vascular occlusion infection exists, but they're pretty rare. The second option, which is more definitive and gives you potentially more dramatic enhancement, is a chin implant. And there's uh, companies that make various sizes and shapes and implants so you can um, design or try to get a uh, jaw shape and projection that suits your goals. Um, there are a few common uh, models that most surgeons use, but in general, the bottom line is that uh, you're making an incision underneath your chin, a submental incision, or some surgeons will go intraorally and create a pocket in front of your mandible and then place the implant there um, to give you that projection you're looking for. Uh, the advantage of a chin implant is that it's, it's definitive, it's permanent, uh, and I think can give you more dramatic, potentially, changes to your jaw shape. Uh, there are some limitations, obviously, if you have a severely weak chin, a very large implant um, can potentially have some issues because if you don't have enough skin laxity closed, that can also introduce problems. But for, uh, as a general rule, chin implants will give you better, more noticeable projection and the fact that it's permanent is, is an advantage many patients like. Although it is permanent, it, there is a relative advantage in the sense that if for whatever reason you don't like it, you can remove it. So the chin implant, while it's permanent, is also reversible. Uh, obviously, that's not the goal when we do the surgery. We're not trying to take in and you know put different ones in all the time. We just want to pick, pick the right implant. Uh, I want to mention a third option, which is similar to filling in with filler, but this is a surgical permanent procedure and that's fat transfer. So uh, don't forget that you can also take fat and inject it into your chin for uh, projection. The, uh, I guess the advantage of that is you can create a smoother, potentially smoother appearance uh, and, uh, and the results is pretty, uh, pretty attractive too. Uh, I do think there may be some limitations of how much it can project, something similar to fillers, um, but I think a more common scenario with fat transfer to chin is probably in uh, the case of a aging face patient who's coming in for a facelift who's getting fat transfer. Um, it's actually uh, very nice to consider adding fat in your chin to enhance your results. Uh, I think for young patients who's looking just for chin projection, I would probably still lean toward maybe a chin implant, uh, but that's something that you can discuss with your surgeon.